Welcome everyone, Quistini here on Serious Gaming with my playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords Restoration Content Mod on uh, the difficult difficulty. I'm gonna be playing a female Jedi Sentinel. You wanna go a Sentinel as opposed to a Guardian um, or maybe a Consular be just because of the skill points, which actually do matter on this kind of difficulty. If you're playing on a lower difficulty, it matters considerably less, but on this kind of difficulty, you do need the skills because it does op open up all kinds of options within the story, within the game. So for the moment, I'm going to go well, I'm gonna throw 14 points in strength just to have um, modifiers to melee damage and some chance to hit, which is obviously important for me. I'm gonna go to four, uh, 14 intelligence and 14 charisma. Now, charisma is important to uh, in terms of helping me use four skills from the opposite side. Now. Skill-wise, I'm gonna throw... Well, I'm not gonna get anything stealth because I don't care. Persuade, max that out. Security, max that out. And then I'm gonna throw in uh, two points in repair and one point in demolitions uh, for, for the moment. Now, obviously, this is not necessarily the most ideal path. Or, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna throw all, my, all these four points in treat injury. Uh, because I'm going to get repair as a class skill, which will allow me to get points in that uh, with no penalty. So, character name, Costin. Okay, let's begin. I've muted the... Uh, I've muted the intro cinematic, uh, the, the movie um, soundtrack. It's just really for the intro cinematic, for the opening crawl. Okay, you can see Star Wars, all right. Hopefully this doesn't create a copyright. Shouldn't, really, just because the Star Wars logo flashed shouldn't create a copyright, hopefully. Um, anyway, the Sith Lords. It is a perilous time for the galaxy. A brutal civil war has all but destroyed the Jedi Order, leaving the Alien Republic on the verge of collapse. Amid the turmoil, the evil Sith have spread across the galaxy, hunting down and destroying the remaining Jedi Knights. All right, narrowly escaping a deadly Sith ambush, the last known Jedi clings to life aboard the uh, Bathrod freighter near the ravaged world of Paragus. Okay then, so Well, that's the Ebon Hawk right there. One of its engines uh, is clearly destroyed. The part of the ship is open to space, which is obviously a Pretty big problem. Primary power offline. Hyperdrive offline. Multiple hull breaches detected. Proximity alert. <laughs> The Ebon Hawk is adrift in space after a terrible battle. Most of its crew are dead or dying. You lie in the medical room in critical condition. You won't survive long without medical attention. The hyperdrive is damaged. Main power must be restored in order to bring the engines online and dock with the nearby Paragus mining station for much needed repairs. Your fate, and that of the Ebon Hawk, depend upon T3M4, a lone astromech droid. Return to this location at any time to skip the prologue. Alright, continue the prologue. Press W A S D. This is the galaxy map. It shows Yeah, I don't really need to 
to worry about that right now. There, I'm using a mod to. Yeah. This room contains a plasma steel cylinder and the communications console. You will come across. All right. Beyond this door is the main hole of the other hall. Well, I just used that spike. I think there's some experience this to be gained from this. Hole. This is really, uh... You can hear a banging noise coming from the other side of the door to this... This old woman appears to be dead. There is a key card on the bottom that looks like... You can hear a banging noise coming from the other side of the door to this storage compartment. But the door... Your security skill is too low to open this footlocker. Your security skill is too low to open this footlocker. However, you can use your weapon to bash it open. Click on the bash icon or press 1. Sometimes bashing or blowing open... Right, so there's a mod here that... If you need help exploring the Ebon Hawk, access the map screen by pressing M. Yep. This is the... Co Talking to other characters is much like using the computer console in the cockpit. Scroll through your response options or move the mouse cursor, and then click to select a response. Note that some responses may influence how other characters react to you. So choose carefully. Furthermore, certain skills, powers, and attributes may modify what choices you have, or how successful you are with those choices. 3CFD is malfunctioning. You can fix him by using a part. Luckily, you have already found one. If you repair 3CFD, he can join your party and assist you in repairing the ship. Success! You have fixed. 3CFD. Now he will join your party. 3CFD is now a member of your party. To change which party member you control, click on their portrait. Ah. Sensor droids emerged from this box when you opened it. These droids will make for excellent target practice. Use the weapon from this container to attack the droids. Equip a weapon from the equip screen. To open the equip screen, click on change your target by pressing Q or E or left click on the object you want to target. To attack an enemy, left click on the sword icon or engage the sensor droids. To continue combat training, open the metal. You must lower your difficulty setting in order to open this lock. Access the option screen and select if you encounter a difficult lock on a container or door. Well, that's a bit annoying. So the game is designed to run the idea. In order to open this lock, access the option. The lock on this metal box is too difficult to open. You can use one of the security tunnelers you found to crack this lock. Select the security tunneler by clicking on the arrows above. Fine. I'm gonna increase the difficulty back up. Or below the security icon. Use the key card you found to open the locker. The impact armor from this locker can be equipped on the equip screen. This blast door is magnetically sealed. So that blast door is magnetically sealed and cannot this is the be main hold. Some parts. Alright, actually wait, I'm gonna go south. This is the main hold. Open the med bay. This is the medical room. I think you don't get any you have experience. Found med packs. You can use one to stabilize the condition of the human lying on the bed. Yeah. 
there's some experience to be gained by the doing the tutorial. Can stabilize your can okay. Success. Fine. That I think will help my character. Yes, 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 yes. To access the air. This is the end. This door is damaged and cannot be opened with your security skill or by bashing it. You will have to find and use an explosive trap to open this door. Take the lift outside the Ebon Hawk to find one. Very well then. This is the cargo hold. Okay, I will go... This is the main hold. Okay, time to go in solo mode. I know that the droid this is, is the almost hold. destroyed. Okay, uh. Lock up. Access uh, security doors. Close. Open. These. Huh. Wires. This is the, this is the starboard dormitory. That's where I'm to get garage. out. This is a workbench. With a workbench, you can break down objects in your inventory into components. You can then use the components to create repair kits, weapons, armor, and upgrades. Because of the damage to the Ebon Hawk, this workbench has limited functionality. You can still use it to create a repair kit, which you can use to repair yourself. Use the workbench to break down the items you've found into components. Then use the components to create a repair kit. Okay, I have a couple of components. Component cost, repair kit, computer spike. Okay, don't actually. You can use repair kits to heal droids like yourself. Fine. I know who's I do know who's banging there, but I can't reach. I can't open the door. This is the main hold. This is the utility. You can use this lift to take you to the out. All right, I need to go outside. Welcome to space. I do wonder why there's mines there, but hey, doesn't matter. The Ebon Hawk took quite a bit of damage there, though, didn't it? And one of its engines is completely broken. This is the starboard side of the Ebon Hawk. These exposed wires control the door to the starboard dormitory. The door is currently sealed, but you can override it from here. Success! The door is opened. You can now access the starboard dormitory through the garage. This open hatch has some parts that will be useful for getting main power. This busted engine port has some needed parts for the Evan Hawk's hyperdrive. Take the parts here back down below to get main power restored. Don't forget to explore the... This is the port side. The bubbles ahead indicate mines that you've detected automatically with your awareness skill. Some mines require higher awareness to detect. Approach mines carefully. They will blow up and damage you if you get too close. You can use your demolition skill to either dis... Recovering mines requires a higher demolition skill than disabling them. But you get to... I 
I like how they designed the tutorial. You can use the explosive device in this missile to blow open the engine room door inside the Ebon Hawk. This will give you access to the hyperdrive. After you plant a mine. Yes, yes, yes. yes. His repair, his demolition skill is pretty garbage. You can use the Go inside. Fine. I'm skipping past the dialogue because it's hacked on this. Regardless, though. This is the engine room. This is the garage. Okay. I'm gonna close this that door. Parts. You found a droid flamethrower. This is one of the special weapons that droids can use. This is the garage. This is the engine room. <laughs> Okay, mine put down. This is the engine room. The port engine is shut down, but appears intact. Fixing the hyperdrive will allow you... The starboard engine is badly damaged. The hyperdrive is... However, you should be able to rig... Success! The hyperdrive is online. Primary power is restored. Only one step remains. Return to the galaxy map in the cockpit and travel to Paragus. Okay, that's all well and good. Well, this I gained uh, quite a bit of experience for doing all of that. You can skip the tutorial, but you're gonna miss out on the experience. This is the cockpit. You can now. Alright, let's uh, wait. Actually, let me turn on the. Movie volume. You can now right, dock with Paragus. The sensors show the door to the storage compartment is being sliced. There is someone, or something, else alive on the Ebon Hawk. Okay, that was the intro sequence. Now the Paraga sequence. Pretty bad sequence, actually. Many people hate dealing with it. Because guess what? Playing a single-player RPG, the last thing you want to be is to be in a single... Uh, to be an experience in an empty space station. All on your own with just computer logs and what, two characters that you can interact with. Well, three, really, but... It's really a shitty sequence for a lot of reasons. So, anyway, I'm up at it. Still examining the survivors of the damaged freighter. Looks like it goes by the name of the Ebon Hawk. 
Only one survivor, placed in the Coltal tank for recovery. The carbon scoring on the vessel suggests it was in a battle, but no indication of who fired on it. Couldn't get much from the Nava computer. I'm surprised the ship was able to make it inside the Paragus asteroid field without the asteroid drift charts. Aside from the lone survivor, we recovered an old woman. No life signs. There was also a protocol droid and a utility droid on board. Sent both down to maintenance while security sorts through the other items on the ship. It looks like the utility droid, a T3 unit, was able to get the ship working enough to get to the colony. We're prepared to... Could be a Jedi. But we won't know for sure until we get the transmission back from the Republic. If the survivor is a Jedi, that would account for the recovery rate. But I'm more concerned that a Jedi here may cause trouble. Some of the miners, especially Korta, are already st Another accident today. A detonation in the ventilation tunnels. If the lockdown measures hadn't activated, the whole facility would have been destroyed. Got most of the injured to the Kulto tanks in time, but the rest had to go to the morgue. One of the wounded said a droid caused the accident, but we couldn't get any specifics. Miners about the Jedi. A number of the droids have been acting oddly, and not even memory wipes seem to be fixing the problem. There was a detonation in another one of the fuel vents the droids were working in. We deactivated several of them and moved them down to maintenance, but we're still treating the plasma burns. That cuts us down to almost half shifts, and with the droids malfunctioning, we may not make the Telo shipment for this month. Fortunately, the detonation didn't cause a lockdown. Warning, there has been a fuel detonation in the mining tunnels. Emergency lockdown commencing. All personnel report to quarters and prepare for emergency venting countermeasures. No, if the ventilation systems are malfunctioning, evacuate the medical bay, everyone evacuate. Okay. I need spikes. Someone used the lethal dose, including on me, apparently. Alright, that should unlock it. Good. Unlock door to the morgue, alright. I need a computer spike. Okay. Hmm. You can make grenades, but I need computer spikes, which I just don't have. Once I get some, maybe then I can figure out to order the this lethal dose on everyone else, on everyone here. For a dead woman, she's certainly very lively. Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. I thought you were dead. Close to death. Yes, closer than I'd like. You have the smell of the Kolto tank about you. How do you feel? A little disoriented. Was it your voice I heard in the Kolto tank? Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not awaken. It may be I reached out unconsciously, and your mind must have been a willing one. Or perhaps you have been trained for such things. So, you can touch minds and feign death. Who are you? I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Last thing I remember, I was on board the Republic ship, the Harbinger. What happened to it? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. A result of your Jedi training, no doubt. How do you know I was a Jedi? Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. The Jedi Order and I have a troubled history. So it would seem. Keep your past and let us focus on the now. Very well. How do we get out of here? I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. 
The ship we arrived in, the Ebon Hawk, must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. We? Why do you think we are together in this? We were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. You seem nervous, worried. Is something wrong? Even as I slept, I felt much unrest here. I saw strange visions, minds colored with fear. Now, everything here feels terribly silent. A last word of caution. I would find out as much as you can about this place quickly. I fear we will need to depart as suddenly as we arrived. We'll see. There's got to be someone left alive around here. You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impression. The patients in the med bay were killed by a lethal dose of sedatives. Any idea how it happened? I do not know. Why did they spare you? They didn't. I got the same dose, but survived. Indeed. A Jedi trance could protect one from such poisons. In fact, the sedatives may have been intended to keep you unconscious for some time. It would prove lethal to those untrained in such techniques, however. Most curious. You seem to know a lot about Jedi techniques. And so do you. Perhaps we could discuss it at length later on. Now we have other concerns, among them finding our new enemy. Hmm. Maybe when I return you'll actually answer my question. I have found that answers come in their own time, not ours. Turn your energy to the matter at hand. If we cannot find a way out of here, the answers will prove useless anyway. I'll return soon to make sure you're all right. I leave you to the explorations of this place. Here, I will remain and attempt to center myself. Emergency lockdown overridden. Okay. Droids destroyed. It is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. Freya? Hmm. It's closed. Wait, actually, hold on a second. Yeah. Forgot to do deal with that. Well, that's what you get from the tutorial. Is this thing on? All right, all hands, especially you, Corner, listen up, because I'm not gonna say this again. The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is gonna take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus 2 and created this asteroid field. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security out. And according to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. The blast wrecked the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though, so we can't even dissect it to see what happened. I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. 
It's not just Corda and his miners, or the fights, but now the droids are acting crazy. If we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility's gonna be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. So, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I could just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Med Bay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the Exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. I secured the stealth field generator inside one of the footlockers in the security storage room. If I have the specs right, the interface field should be effective against the droid sensors. All I need to do is equip the belt and some skill with stealth in order to use it. As long as I don't get too close to the droids, they shouldn't detect me. If any more droids start malfunctioning, the belt should buy me enough time to get to the override switch I set up in the communications blister console. I'd rather shut them down than destroy them. I want to find out how these droids are being sabotaged, maybe even turn them against whoever's sabotaging them. Okay, so, Joy is going crazy, how do I save here, Let's see, alright, default action, R, activate, left action, fine, 1, 2, fine, 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 good, quick save, yeah, same keys as before, there we go, quick save. Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Kreia? Who Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see, and instead, reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. Okay. Ah, you hear it. It is faint, but it is there. I feel strange, like the sedatives are wearing off. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. But it doesn't feel like it did. It feels like it is coming from across the great distance. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. 
You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Okay, force lightning. There we go. Kill the droids. The experience is more useful than anything you might get. If you go to that console, you can shut them down, but if you shut them down, you can only collect parts from them if you have repair. I personally prefer to scavenge them for p Well, sorry. I personally prefer to kill them for the experience. What the hell was I thinking? Scavenge them for parts now. There's quite a few of them, though. Alright, let me just... Oh, actually, wait, this door is gonna be closed. Regardless. It will take a number of levels for me to actually get four seals, so until I do, I'm stuck using medkits. There we go, med pack. I have a number of them. Okay, that's it. The door to the prison is open. Costine here on Serious Gaming, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.